Hi dog boy, I thought I was not going to make it this evening, as I have just been on a nightmare of a journey on the looser cruiser. Really Jono? What happened? I kid you not dogs, but these things are freaking death traps. So anyways, I got on the bus and the cheeky bastard Nazi driver fucking stings me 14 fucking bucks 70 for a single from Perth to Inverness. Can you believe the price of that shit? Oh I, shite like that ain't cheap. So I get on the bus, after emptying my wallet to the bastard driver, and find myself a seat on the overcrowded bus. People packed in like it was the last bus out of Shipsville, so I squeezed my ass down next to a smelly, dish-faced, old sag tit witch. With a fat ass, I kid you not. The smell of pish was stinging my eyes and making me boken shit. Fuck's sake, nothing worse than being sat next to a pishy old lady on a fucking long road up to Inverness and shit. Well, anyways halfway up the road, I need a piss, so I leave my seat and make my way to the toilet at the back of the Lucy Cruiser, passing the great unwashed, and stumbling to the dirty, foul-smelling, bog, reaching for the light as the door closed, I could tell that it was broken, so I proceeded to take a piss. After I had finished one of the longest pisses in history, I reached for the bog door, as the light from the bus streamed in. You could clearly see that the toilet seat was down, and I had pissed on the seat lid and all over the bog floor, and soaking my jeans in sugar puff smelling pish. With great shock I staggered to my seat next to the pishy lady, and I used the term lady very loosely as she kept dropping eggy farts. Filthy Beast you're telling me dog boy, she was right with the egg smelling farts, so there I sat with the bus running an hour late. Sat in my own pish, next to a pishy lady, in was the journey from hell. The bastard driver pumped up the heating to full bore, and rattled all the way up the road like a madman off his tits on ecstasy pipes with a fucking death wish or shit. Shit the bed Jono. I bet you're glad to be back home. Faux show, dogs. Faux show. Sure.